here's what I think will happen. I, I, I mean, it's just my, I think that David Gilliland is going to help Mark Martin win this race. He may not mean to, but I think David Gilliland doesn't want to mess up. I believe that Kyle Busch and Greg Biffle will hop to the outside and try to go around Mark. Then Gilliland will run right up behind Mark and push him home. I'm with you, Darrell, because what we've seen from David Gilliland, who won the poll at Talladega in October and won the poll here for Daytona, is he likes that yellow line and his car works well. Anyway, just now the 17, that's the 31 flag going to go where I go, so might be in his best interest. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. It's been the right. The first half was boring. Place for us. Work for Cold Trickle. Kevin here. Five cars sit second. I told we was a coming, so get ready. As long as we can all get up to speed, that's going to be the, the hardest part. 10 4. I mean, he's got really nothing up there. You, got, you see what you got 38, 16, 01, 19, 09. Okay, behind you is the 17, the 31, the 6, the 24. The 17, 31, want to do? 17 says you got a bad tire wrap, so he's going to see what it does after he takes off. Bob asked 17 what he was thinking, and he was thinking he wishes it was over, but if you get a good run, he's going to go with you. 31, got to go with him? Uh, he ain't really said. I don't know. I'm sure he will, I mean. Blackie, you gonna go with us? He didn't answer. Do you want me to go up the line? This is our one attempt for the green light, uh, white checker. I just told Dylan, if we make a move and for some reason it doesn't work out, for him to jump in behind us, he gets going again. It's pretty comical up here. Everybody's got deals they're gonna make, and one guy said stay in line. I said there ain't gonna be no line. It's gonna be fun. Start going off. Be ready. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. I don't believe he can wait very long, Larry. I believe if you're going to make the move, you got to make it quick. I don't think you can wait too long. If they're going to get him, they need to jump to the outside right away. 17 right on you there. Still on you. He's going to stay in your track, looks like. Single pile. He moved up. Got some guys behind you moving up to the top. That's 24 car with his teammate Casey Mears, but Casey leaves him out there. Now, one back. I'll send a file behind him. He's coming hard on half back now. Now, when these guys on the outside, when they get side by side with these other cars, they're done. We're coming to the hole. 17's with you. Gas her up. You and the 17, use the hill. Use everything you got. Inside. 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 They're all lined up behind you. Keep digging. Still inside. 17, 31, 24 all behind you. Use everything you can use. Still inside. Still inside. Keep digging. Keep digging. Still inside. Gonna get a push. Keep rolling. Three wide. Keep going. Come on, buddy. Keep going. Inside. Come on. Come on. Keep the momentum. Let's go. Inside. I got it, Jeff. Inside. Inside. Inside, come on, inside corner. Use all you can do. Come on, spin behind you. Bring it off, come on. Do what you gotta do, baby. They count 500. Come on, come on. Hell yeah, baby. Woo! Great job, Hall. Hell of a run there, buddy. Hell of a run. Hey, I'm punching. I got so excited. I'm. Oh, are you still on here? Montoya, Stremi, Kenseth. Biffle, Marlin, Carl Edwards, Casey Mears, all crash on the final lap. Have you ever? I have, a couple of times. I'm going to repeat what I heard a few years ago. No, I have never. <laughs> I got so excited, I broke the damn mirror in half. <laughs> Jeff Gordon's day ends about like his teammates. Clint Boyer came across the start-finish line on his roof. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. This... David Stremmy's climbed out. He is okay. Sterling Marlin, who slid across to the to a stop. Well, Larry, let's see. Are they going to run these cars anymore? Uh, they were intending on it, but I don't <laughs> think many of them will. It, it may be a good time to bring the old car to Marl out. What was the margin of victory for Kevin Harvick? Unofficially, two one-hundredths of a second. I thought Mark had him. I thought he was going to hold him.
And Mark Martin, a bridesmaid once again. He's got to be. He's got to be thrilled, though. What a finish! Bakersfield, California's Kevin Harvick, who took over the seat in what became the 29 after the death of Dale Earnhardt, stormed up the outside. Kyle Busch couldn't hold him off. He had a full head of steam into turn three. There yes, was no question did. you were going to have to go the outside. Mark was not going to give up the inside. What happens back here is Kyle Busch gets on the apron ever so slightly, gets into the 17, and it's on from there. Look at the 38 car up on top of somebody. There's a car turning over. Look at this finish. And it's a drag race to the line, and we've seen Harvick do that before. Yes, we have. You can see Harvick trying to pinch him down to keep that momentum on him. A little side draft. Get a little side draft and try to pull ahead. Now, unofficially, Jeff Burton will finish third. Mike Wallace will finish fourth. And the top finish in Roush car, rookie David Reagan in a six. Unbelievable. Kevin Harvick was doing donuts in La Grasse. And he may have toasted the number 29. <laughs> I think he broke another transmission. Congratulations to Chevy driver Kevin Harvick, winner of the Daytona 500 from Chevy, an American Revolution. Harvick, way to go, man. Hey, they won't. I don't. They wanted to go straight to victory lane right here. Kevin, if you got me. Getting his corner checked right now. He knows the way. How about the speed, boy? Awesome job today, Billy. Kevin Harvick, I hate to interrupt, but man, you just won the Daytona 500. How's it feel? 